Hello and welcome to this overview of Exelon Mortgage. It's dashboard and, and the settings within tasks, notes and the diary. So once you've logged in, you're greeted with the dashboard. Now your dashboard may appear slightly different to this depending on what uh, licenses that you're operating on. Uh, I have the full license which includes mortgage sourcing, protection sourcing and the advice. So let's just work our way through the different sections. Uh, the overview allows you to create a new client. Um, if you do have the advice module, you can actually uh, fill in a full fact find from selecting this option here. And then just below, if you're just looking to run quick quotes on either mortgage or protection, you can do that here. Uh, look out for videos and we will go into more detail of these sections in those videos. Uh, then you have your tasks. So these are the most recent tasks that you've been working on. You can um, create a new task and also search for tasks. Uh, you can also complete uh, a task from the drop down to the side. You can mark it as complete. If you was looking to create a new task, you can do by selecting the type, then the subtype, fill in the subject and the description. This then would be saved to myself once I put a date when it was due and the client's details and hit save. But I might want to create a task for a colleague and you can do that by changing the assign to and then hit save. If you do hit the Iris logo at the top, this will always take you back to the main dashboard. Um, as well as creating new tasks, you can actually search, search sorry, for tasks. Uh, again, same principle, you can search on the name, uh, the subject. These are mine, but again, you can search for individuals within your organization. So if someone is off on annual leave and they've asked you to complete something, you can do that for them within this section. There's also a cancel button at the bottom. The cancel will take you back. Um, and as mentioned, the logo will always bring you back to the main screen. So next to the tasks, you have your most recent clients. It will show up to, the, uh, up to five of your most recent clients that you've been working on. You can also search for clients. You can do that via their name, street, postcode, town, telephone number, and email address. The telephone number is really handy. Um, if you've got a missed call on your mobile, uh, you can easily put the telephone number in and you can see who that individual is if you have completed them um, and searched them, um, sorry, inputted them into the system. You can do this for yourself uh, and then also for your colleagues if you change the details there. As well as the clients then next to that you have your cases that you've been working on so you can easily jump into the cases or you can search for the case so if you put the name of the individual in then hit search that will then bring up records of those individuals and then again you can do this for yourself or for individuals within your organization The next section we're looking at is the diary. So like any diary system, let's put the title in. When it's due to take place, a description just to help yourself. And then if it's for yourself or again, oops. If it's for yourself or for an individual within your organization, you can add appointments into their diary, not forgetting to put the client's details in there as well. Last section on this dashboard, that would be the best buys. This is updated every single day, so it gives you the best um, initial rate for purchases, fixed rates, tracker, remortgage, first on buys and buy to let, and this is updated every single day. And then the final section we want to show you, um, if you go into an actual client, you'll see a lot of the sections replicated. So you've got tasks relating to this client, cases relating to this client, and then a new option, uh, which is the notes. The notes are really handy that you can add 
information. These drop downs here. Put in a subject and the content, and then you can add documents with a drop and drag. All by double clicking on an actual option and that'll bring that up for you. They can also obviously be deleted out if you've duplicated any information. So that is an overview of the dashboard, tasks, notes and the diary. Uh, as mentioned, look out for other videos which will go into uh, detail of how to add a client with a full fact find and how to source a mortgage and a protection quote.